Hello, I'm Carl, and this is my third Lego candy machine. I'll give you a 360 view, and let's do that. I'll show you all the features, a course slot, a locking button, core rejection, and a place where the combat comes out, a train with the seasons out, that will be able to prevent a core rejection coin, or a combat from running away, or a nice one in the side, a lock coin bag, and 10 rounds of gumballs all on an 8x14 base plate. Plus, just a the stores uh, between this layer, this layer basically with second to top, and these these black top plates were the, were a, a key used to lock, unlock the unlock the coin back is hidden. See the button is locked, and you can't shake the candy out. If you take a penny and put it in the coin slot, it gets rejected. See? So, a penny doesn't work. If you take a dime and put it in the coin slot, oops, it gets rejected. See? So, it doesn't work either. Apologies for asking that they dropped the dime. If you take a quarter, it won't fit in the coin slot. See, it's just too big. The quarter is just too big. So, see, so quarters also don't work. Yet the button is still locked, and yet you still can't get the candy out. Sorry, I had to pause because I heard the door opening, you know, and my great aunt, who's name is Terry Deli. Left her room. Only a nickel works. So you take a nickel and put it in the coin slot, the button doesn't get rejected. The nickel, see the nickel doesn't get rejected. And, and, the, and the button's now unlocked. So you push and pull the button to get yourself a gumball. I'll put the ball in the slot and keep the gumball to the record if you the button locks again. Here are a few more rounds. The, the color, the, the color of the gumbo magically changed. See, in the first one, I got a white gumbo, but in this round, I got an orange gumbo. This time, I got a purple gumbo. This time, I got a pink gumbo. Some kind of blue combo. And over here, you can get your money back. See, you can't grab the grab out the coin bag or shake it out. Point. Stick off this this top. This two by three brick came over, so put it back on. Um, to the machine said the combo. I can I can easily get this key without even touching the combo. Now I put the top back on. Insert this thin stick in. Well, into this the connector pack. See? And you can see the corner mag is stuck, so I can't pull it out right now. But if I twist the key to the left, the corner mag is stuck, and I can pull the coin back out. And get my hard earned money. See, I use five nickels for the demonstration, along with a pretty nickel, I mean, dime and a quarter. My bad. I put the coin back back in. So I said I meant to say penny, n uh, dime, and quarter. I put the coin back back in, and I twist the coin, twist the key to the right, and the coin back is locked once more. Okay, this is how I reload and put the key back. See, the key goes right here. This one, my first big gap. Yes. Yes. And then put in the gumball. Oops, I'm sorry, I accidentally dropped one.
Look at this, and it's put the top back on. Okay, this is the mechanism, see? The button is locked. In fact, because... Don't take off these bricks. There's a titan beam on the cross axe, so... Well, with this... With it, this, the cross axe itself, in this tactic brick, the other end would hold the tactic beam. In the middle would be the brush. See? There's a, bl a black little peg with green crosses together with a connector peg and beam in this. Oh god, so that puts weight on this side of the secondary, so that I reckon this is not. And see, it's blocked by the one by six play, which pushes occupy the one in this half, the one by three play, and the one by three flat on. See, the button is locked. And pennies and dimes. Fall down the hole when quarters are just too big to fit in the coin slot. However, a nickel will work. And when it's pointing the cord out, it lifts with the second beam unlocking the mechanism. See, it does not get rejected. And so when the button is pushed, the nickel gets released, and so the technic this side of the technic beam goes down and the technic beam goes up. When the gumball loads in, the dispensing piece, to see the dispensing piece and the button are in one piece, and when you put the button back, the gumball is dispensed. In fact, in this case, the gum, the gumball will be sitting right here. See, the technic beam goes down, and it's blocked by this piece again, in the mechanism once more. And here's the mechanism once more. I don't know if we can put penny in dime. Okay, here's the core rejection. See, this is it consists of this tile, and what's underneath this tile will be the headlight brick holding on the side with a one by one cheese slope. And there's a, t like a flat tile on this brick. See, pennies and dimes are too small, so, so they can't reach the, this cheese slope on the technic. Brick. I mean the headlight brick. Sorry, I meant to say headlight brick. Excuse me, apologies. The dime, and so that can't reach the lead. No. It can't even reach the time. Well, like I said earlier, quarters is just a way to find the coins down. But in, I'm sure that it's the air pressure, but, but in the go, however, it's big enough to reach the cheese up in the headlight brick in, in this flat tile. Not getting rejected. It's too big to get rejected, but Nico is definitely from the corner. Okay. Here's the coin bank locking mechanism. See? I think we is. Whoops. It's blocked by this brick. Take this key right here and try to pull. Try to pull the coin man down. I can't because, like I said, this brick works with the green and stuff. So I just twist the key to the left. Can't pull out the coin back right now. So I just twist the key to the left, and this is no longer blocked by the brick, and I can pull out the coin bank. Here's my. And set the coin bank back and introduce the key to the right and this with the egg lock box is again meaning the coin bank is locked once more. See this one by two brick over here prevents the coin bank mechanism from getting locking mechanism from getting hacked by preventing this connector pack from getting pushed and broken off. And this is it for my delicate kind of machine. Goodbye.